EA Sports. It's in the game. Hi, my name is Jay Shankman, senior producer on Tiger Woods PGA Tour 10 for the Wii. I'm going to show you today a feature that we're particularly proud of for 2010. It's called Disc Golf. And the objective is to pick up a disc um, on a tee and throw it down to the green in as few shots as possible and get it into a basket. So in the case of disc golf, it's actually a basket that's elevated above the ground instead of a hole that's dug into the ground. So to demo this feature for you, you can see that there's a disc at the tee on the ground and all I would really do is point the Wii Remote to the disc and hold the B button. As long as I'm holding the B button, I'm now holding the disc. And then with the Wii Motion Plus and the increased fidelity that it gives us, I have complete free motion what I do with that disc. That translates into gameplay. So not only can I move the disc any way I want to, I can also throw the disc any way I want to. So let me give you a little example here. Just like in throwing a real disc, I would pull back and then release the B button as I move my arm forward. As in the real sport of disc golf, um, there are multiple discs that you get. Um, you can throw a 150 yard driver, you can throw a 75 yard mid-range disc or a 20 yard putter. The game is smart enough to know how close you are to the basket and we give you the best disc for that particular situation. But you're free of course to change it at any point to whatever you want. So the rules of disc golf are slightly different than regular golf in that there are certain hazards out on the course that will give you a stroke penalty. So if you throw the disc into the sand, if you land it on a cart path, or if you throw it into the water, you'll get a stroke penalty for that and your disc will be reset back out onto the fairway. Um, wind also plays a major factor in disc golf. Um, it's very important to look in the upper right hand corner of the screen up there, make sure you're paying attention to how fast the wind is blowing and what direction it's blowing in uh, because it will affect the flight of your disc. So once you're on or near the green, the objective is very simple. Pick up the disc and throw it as accurately as you can to try to get it into the basket. Another really important aspect of the game is banking the disc. So it's not just pick it up and throw it straight if you don't want to. If you've got a dog leg that you're trying to throw around and you want to throw it off to the right or off to the left, you can do that simply by picking up the disc and angling it before you throw it. Disc golf is a great game to play as a standalone or to play with other people. It can be played with up to four people. It's a fantastic party game.